Did you know your soul can be soul can be fragmented? Psalm 23 says, He restores my soul. Well, what does that mean? How could God restore a soul unless it's been fragmented? Well, through the deliverance sessions I've been in, I've found that people lost a piece of their soul and we can get it back. There are traumatic events that people have gone through and a piece of their soul breaks off. During a group session I had, a woman said she was pregnant and in a car accident and the Lord showed her what happened when she was in that car accident. She, it was like it replayed in front of her eyes and then she saw her baby's soul fragment, shattered like glass and pieces went everywhere. Her, her child is battling autism today. So as we take her through deliverance, we're retrieving those soul fragments. Now, I've also learned that if an ancestor does witchcraft or dedicates their lineage to Satan or something like that, the, Satan's kingdom, whatever kingdom that is, will have a fragment of each of the descendants' souls. That means a per, a, they're claiming a piece of that person for their kingdom. And we have to go in and get those soul fragments back. Once again, Psalm 23. He restores our soul. And uh, Luke, I think Luke chapter 4 God says he we can't he's sending us to heal the brokenhearted. He came to heal the brokenhearted. Broken, a broken heart. What does that mean? Not cracked. Broken means it's now it was one piece. Now it's in multiple pieces. When your heart breaks, it shatters. I have ministered to heart patients in the hospital, and all of them suffer from a broken heart. Every last one of them. Okay, so in my ministry, I really enjoy bringing the soul fragments together. One woman, she saw where her ancestors' soul fragments were hanging in a tree because her ancestors had been lynched. So I know God doesn't mean for us to shed any blood on this earth through operation or trip and fall accidents or car accidents, anything, lacerations, amputations. When he put us on this earth, he wanted all our body parts to be there. And I know that certain, you know, through the living sessions, I found that ancestors have actually dedicated certain body parts to Satan. Okay. So that means all the descendants after that have to give up that body part. I had two teeth pulled, molars. The orthodontist told me I had to have those teeth pulled and if, if she was going to align my teeth properly. It, she pressured me so hard and made herself to be this expert. And she said she had to do the same thing for my son. And she was lying. I found out later. After our teeth were pulled, I it was taking my son through a deliverance session and he saw my ancestors throwing their teeth into a cauldron. That's really jacked up. So that means through that ritual, that satanic kingdom now has access to our teeth or something like that. Or they're always going to make a demand. They're going to always make a demand in order to keep that covenant in place. My youngest child is actually missing laterals. Those are the two teeth next to the big uh, front teeth. And I know that it, it was missing from his DNA. So that means it was stolen, you know, before he even, when he was formed in, in my womb, he was, that those teeth were taken. Okay, so I have to go back and do warfare and cancel those those uh involuntary involuntary uh 
<laughs> what do you call it? Sacrifices to Satan. Some of you all, your ancestors gave blood to the devil. And now you have to give blood. Your blood is demanded of your family all the time. And how does that blood given? In a car accident when you bleed. If you trip and fall and you bleed, something happens and you're bleeding. Everybody doesn't bleed like that, okay? If you're bleeding all the time, you're actually giving a blood sacrifice to the devil. And I'm not saying that you're doing it intentionally. I'm saying that's something that you're that is required of your family. I am really getting deep and I'm not really trying to go that deep. I was really trying to tell you that <laughs> when I was five years old, I had an operation. I got my tonsils taken out because I always had sinus problems. Well, I realized that that a piece of my body and, and my blood was shed. All right. It was shed. And I know that it went into Satan's kingdom and my soul was fragmented. And that the Holy Spirit just brought that to my mind in the bed this morning at like 3 a.m. <laughs> so I said a prayer that I renounce all sacrifices to Satan's kingdom, all blood sacrifices to Satan's kingdom. I cover my body parts with the blood of Jesus. And I remove them from Satan's kingdom. And I called my soul fragment back. And I took this deep yawn. I have never yawned like this in my life. But it was like I was sucking in air. And it kept coming in. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't breathe that much air out. I didn't know it was that much space. In my lungs for all that air. Okay. I'm in the bed just... <gasps> And I was still going. And I realized, oh my goodness, I just got my soul fragment back. I don't know what they took from me, but I got it back. Oh my goodness. So that's why soul fragment retrieval is one of the main parts of my ministry. You ain't going to get this in your average church. I tell you that. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. My soul is restored. My soul is restored. I said it funny. My soul is restored. Hallelujah. <laughs>